What's up YouTube, it's Jason right here, and I'm gonna give you the next top 10 city tweaks for your jailbroken iOS device running iOS 10 beta jailbreak. So let's get started with the video. So our next tweak is slide to unlock. Slide to unlock, what it does, it brings back the old slide to unlock feature back to your iOS 10 device. So there's no more widgets when you slide um, right here. So you can get straight to the passcode, no more widgets, and it brings back and it makes it easier to unlock your phone. But the only thing about this tweak is the touch ID is not working out as a request uh, this video because it is a beta tweak and you do need a custom repository it will be up your screens down below in the description as well i do recommend you checking this out just so that your touch id will not be working until they update the tweak itself so um that's all it does brings back the ios 9 ios 8 ios 7 slide to unlock so our next tweak is alkaline what alkaline does gives you a nice different looking battery icon to your device so if you go to settings and you go to alkaline settings you can choose between these three themes right here and you can download more through Cydia so you can download even more um, alkaline themes throughout Cydia just search up alkaline and it should be a different list of different themes you just install them and you're good to go but I just chose the first one so you can see that is a theme battery icon and it's a really great tweak for any jailbreak user so it's all with the hope of alkaline so I don't know if you noticed by now but my icons are actually moving and it's all with the hope of icon bounce icon bounce will bring the icons in your dock to life so they will give it a nice bounce to them and it's a really great tweak it does not waste that much battery but once you do download it you can go to the settings you can mess around with the settings there's actual different animations you can choose from here and you can uh, set them you can change the animation speed and the bounce and how high they bounce so so that's all with the help of icon bounce it brings your docs icons to life our next hook is Sleek and Bouncy. Sleek and Bouncy, what it does, gives you a nice snappy feel when opening and closing apps. So as you can see, it has this kind of like a like a bounce to it. So watch closely, open it, and it has like this like bounce to it. So when closing and opening up apps, gives it a nice uh, bouncy feeling, and it's a really great it's a really great animation tweak um, for your iOS device. I really like this. One of the biggest reasons why I jailbreak my device just to have more animations and speed up my device and give it a nice feel to it uh, when doing so so that's all help sleek and bouncy so all right so you know the colors of the notification center when you activate one of these toggles they change color but what if i can say you can actually change those colors to your liking so with the help of cream 2 it gives you the ability to change colors from a control center and it gives it a nice uh, custom feel to it so let's see airplane mode is orange i would like to change that into a red so that reddish color it looks good. So as you can see, I just respring my device. These are the colors I choose for the control center right here. And there will be a screenshot right here on your screens right now that will show you the original colors that, that stock iOS uh, gives you. And you can tell the difference that you can actually customize your toggles right here and just make the toggles your own. All right, so our next week involves as well the control center. So this button right here is the new CC low power tweak. So what it does act enables low power mode from whatever app you in. Just slide up, click on this button right here, and you can enable low power mode. And you do need a custom repository, so it'll be up your screens and down below in the description as well. This really is something that Apple should implement on stock iOS 10. So I don't want to be the person who goes from let's say I'm like an you know, I'm an eBay. I have to go to settings and go to battery and enable low power mode. I just want to simply slide up and enable low power mode myself. So yeah, it's a very simple tweak that Apple should really implement and I really like this parsing for myself. So our next tweak is called Batch Customizer. What Batch Customizer does, it lets you change the color of the badges on your icon. So if you go to settings and go to the Batch Customizer uh, settings, right? So you can change the colors right here. So Batch Color, scroll all the way to the bottom, it gives you all these different um, options right here so i'm gonna choose yellow right here and it should give you this respring just want to respring your device so i just respring my device as you can see the batch color has changed to yellow so so one note when you respring your device with batch customizer so if you go to batch customizer and click on your spring button do not use this actual respring button right here so all you want to use is like probably if you downloaded the cream you want to use the cream respring so so you go to configurations and respring throughout cream because the respring on batch customizer actually gets your phone in a black screen you have to restart your device re jailbreak and name will see your substrate and all that stuff so i do recommend you when respring with batch customizer respring with cream too so yeah 
So our next tweak right here is called no handwritten messages. So when iOS 10 was actually introduced, there was a feature where you landscape your phone like this and you can actually write a message using your finger, which is not very useful for me in my opinion. So what this tweak does, it just stops the handwritten feature on your iOS device. So if I landscape my phone like this, so we were not getting the handwritten feature. You just get the keyboard right here. And it's a very useful tweak in my opinion because I really don't use the handwritten feature. So that's all with hope of no handwritten messages. So our next week is called Phantom Life. Phantom Life is a hack for Snapchat where you can upload pictures from your camera roll, uh, fake your location, see people's stories without them even knowing, save people's pictures without them even knowing as well, and as well be incognito when reading messages. So yeah, it is in its beta stages, so some features are not yet added to this version of Snapchat Lite, but you do have the feature of reading messages without them knowing, you have the feature as well as incognito mode to watch people search about them knowing. Uh, you can even disable life stories and all those things with Phantom Light. So I really do recommend this tweak. Keep it and it will be updated soon to fix all the problems and add more features to this. So yeah. So our last and final tweak will be Eclipse 4. So Eclipse 4 ends in its base stages as well. Um, but it works pretty good for me in my opinion. So, so you can get this blacked out UI on your iOS 10 jailbroken device. And as you can see, Twitter as well. If you're not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. It will be up in your screens and down below in the description as well. Ask me any questions and all of that stuff. So as you can see, Twitter is blacked out. As you can see right there. Um, but the problem with this beta of Eclipse 4 is that you cannot choose apps to be uh, blacklisted. What I mean blacklisted is you can choose actual apps like it, let's say if you want Twitter to be in its regular UI that is white but you cannot actually do that because it's supposed to stay black because app list which is an essential tweak that starts with uh, Eclipse 4 is not yet supported so Eclipse will just automatically choose the apps that are supported to be blacked out. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe more to videos coming. Wait to see you right here. See you in the next one. Peace.